thought, you know, she got on bike, she seemed fine, but just do you have an update on? I mean, I don't have an update. <laughs> I think she's okay though. I mean, we talked about they'll they'll the funny thing is that they brief me on that like after I leave here, like after I leave here. So that's why. But I think she's fine. I wasn't really happy with uh with it, but I think she's fine. Um, was it her shoulder or no, it, it was uh it I, I thought it was a it was a it was more than physical, the like the 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 screen. And so I, I just, you know, you have screens and you have players end up on the ground. I think they need to be looked at. But, you know, I've seen people get looked at for less. So mm -hmm. I just want to make sure our players are getting protected. Mm -hmm. And um, I didn't feel like they were protected at that point. So is that what led to the test? Yeah, I wasn't really happy because I've seen or like we've been in situations where like we're looking at stuff, like we're looking at a lot of stuff and players are laying down. And sometimes players are flopping and they, they, and we look at it mm -hmm. and she got hit like really hard. And I'm just like, give her the respect to just look at it. Mm -hmm. That's, that was my only thing. So, yeah. Okay. And then um, what was the message to the team in the locker room after, you know, completing a historic regular season um, with the Sky French, the Sky franchise as a whole? New season, new day. So, you know, um, that was great. I uh, congratulated them and they had a great season and now it's time for a second season and we have to really focus and hone in on the things that we have to take care of. I thought we did a good job of, uh, you know, trying to stay consistent in certain aspects of the game and, um, you know, I, you know, we just have to continue to get better though and we can't let up and New York's going to come in extra motivated. They've played us tough all year and we just have to do what we can and just take care of business. And then at the beginning of the season, you guys all talked about, players specifically talked about a desire to come back and bring this group back and put together a season that was reflective of the talent that you guys have on this team. Mm -hmm. Maybe saying, you know, last year's 500 record and the sixth seed wasn't indicative of what the team was actually capable of. So mm -hmm. is there a sense of pride in, in what you guys in this first season now going into the second one? Um, you know, I think, you know, it's, we, we feel good that we, we, I think we had a good season. Like we, we, it took us 35 games to lose two in a row. Like, and that's, I mean, and to have this type of season where, you know, you're playing with the X on your back every game because you're the champions. I think we, we, uh, defended, uh, defended it well, uh, as far as like the regular season. Mm -hmm. And so I was uh, appreciative of how they, was up to every challenge. You had players making shots against us that weren't making shots earlier, and um, and and so it's just we we did. I thought we we did what we had to do, and so we should be proud of where we are. And now we just have to do what we can and just continue to 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 play our best basketball. Yeah. Uh, no, I thought she was, um, you know, I thought she was big for us as far as, you know, her leadership and, you know, showing like kind of showing her skill that her skill was elite and putting herself in a, I guess, the upper tier where we always thought that she was. And now I think everybody else is kind of like, oh, oh, she's, she, copper is doing copper things. And so now the expectations are there and she's meeting them all the time. So um, she's, uh, she's one of the best players in the game. And most of the time when she steps on the floor, she's, she's best player on the floor. And so now I think she's getting respected. She's getting that respect uh, from most people, you know, so. All right, James Kay on Zoom. James? Hey, Coach. Um, how important was it today to just get a win after I mean, the last three games were a little bit up and down? I mean, how important was it just to have this type of, like, a lot of momentum heading in, into the first round? I think it was important just to play well. Um, I don't I don't know if a win was necessary, but I think it was important to play well. And uh, we got some extended minutes from our bench to kind of give them some rhythm, some defensive rhythm. So uh yeah i i think it was really really key for us to uh play a good brand of basketball where uh the things we looked at is probably the things that you know 
you guys probably look at the the win loss or or the score, but like we're looking at the fact that we turned them over twenty one times. Mm-hmm. And so for us to to do that and to you know only give them two offensive rebounds and uh, you know we had twelve turnovers, but uh, I thought we turned I thought we took care of the ball early, and I thought that was good for us. Thank you. Thanks, Coach. All right, thanks, guys. We have Alfred Stevens and Allie Piglet next. All right, we'll start with in person and then we'll go to Zoom. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, what was the coach's message to you guys in the locker room after the game? Um, you know, obviously, it was a good win for us, good momentum going into playoffs, and now, you know, the real not the real basketball, but um, playoffs are here. So we're really excited about that. And he just said, like, it's time to lock in. Um, we have eight games ahead of us and just going to need all the focus and energy going into these games. And then um, this has been described, the season has been described as two separate seasons. And coming into the 2022 season, there was a lot of talk about wanting to bring this team back together so you guys could have a regular season that was reflective of the team you all felt you could truly be. How much pride do you take in the fact that you all were able to set franchise records in terms of the number of wins you got? You claimed the number two seed and essentially, you know, set out and accomplished half the goal. Yeah, um, I think it's great. I think um, obviously all the people who returned from last year, we understood that we didn't play our best last season um, and we still won, which was great, but I think all of us walking away were like, okay, we could have done better. Um, so it's really awesome just to have the type of season that we've had, excuse me, so far. And um, we're just looking forward to the off the postseason. And then considering the uncertainty, not that just around this team, but every team after, you know, any regular season, any season in general, does that add to the the um, motivation or is that just something that plays into every year? Um, what do you mean specifically? Um, specifically meaning, you know, the number of free agents the team has and just the fact that next year this team will likely look a lot different. Yeah. Um, I mean, I think it's just part of the business. Um, people have to make decisions that are best for them and yeah, there's I mean, not much to say. I think people just, you got to seize the moments you're given, um, coaches, GMs, you know, players, teammates, cause you really never know who's going to be in the locker room the next season. Um, so I think we saw that last year, obviously Diamond and Steph not being with us as Stu. Um, so we had to adjust to that and I'm sure it'll be similar next year. Thank you. Mm-hmm. All right, last two, we'll go to James K and then Mike. James, you can go first. Hey, Ezra, thanks for your time. Um, mm-hmm. How important was it just to have the bench get extended minutes today? I mean, I know James has been talking a lot about trying to get the starters playoff minutes um, and you're kind of like the sixth starter on this team right now as well, but just to, how important was it just for everyone to get some run in today? Um, just given that it has been a shorter rotation, like, there's been shorter rotations lately. Yeah, I, I think it's really important. Um, you know, we harp on our depth and I think some games we don't really utilize it, but um, it's just the nature of the game. You know, some games just ebb and flow that way, but I think it's good. Any chance that the bench, we can get extra minutes, I think it's important. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Last question, we'll go to Mike Hughes. Hey Z, congratulations on a great regular season. Thank you. Um, I, I wanted to ask you, you know, you always talk about getting better. You're always talking about adding things to your game. And this year you shot 35% from three. And I don't know what was in the water today, but you were going crazy in the first half of this game. Um, it, for you, what went into this season, especially from three, you just look so much more confident this season than, than past from a three point percentage and just your game all around. Really, what was the main focal point to from the beginning of this season to now that you wanted to work on? Yeah, I think confidence is the biggest thing. Um, I think just believing in myself as a player. um, I I mean, I think I've been capable of this, but it's sort of like people won't see how you play unless you go out and do it. Um, And after playing overseas and just getting some more reps and just getting a lot of minutes, just playing more, I I think it really helped my confidence just coming back, feeling really comfortable. Um, And I mean, that's all I can really say. I think I just, the overseas really helped me to sort of it's more free over there, you know, you, you're not really in a box, you're not really, I mean, everybody pretty much the Americans are mostly the best players on their team or one of the best players. And so I think you just get a lot of 
you just get to play really free overseas. I think most people feel that way. Um, and it really helped me just coming back just to not hold back, you know, I have, it's, there's nothing to lose, you know, it's, it's really just yourself that sometimes holds you back. So really coming into this year, I didn't want that to be anything um, that stopped me from just displaying all that I can do. And then you look at playing up against New York next Wednesday, you're playing against Stephanie Dolson, being able to play against her and play with her um, for quite some time. What are you going to take into that, knowing that matchup of not only playing against a former teammate, but a, a friend? Yeah, yeah. Steph, um, obviously last season we had her with us and um, we miss her presence. Um, but I think also we know, you know, when you play alongside your teammates, you're sort of, you're on their side, you're helping them, you're sort of picking up where they lack. And then when they turn into opponents, you sort of start to look at them a little differently on the court. Um, so Steph's a great player. Um, I, was, I was watching a little bit of the game today. She did really well. Um, so yeah, it'll be fun to match up against her. And um, it, it's always a good battle with her. Thanks Z, best of luck. Thank you. Thank you. Um, you and I had a conversation for the season about um, a goal that brought this team back together and that was the desire to complete a regular season like you all have completed. I know these seasons are separated by regular yeah. season and postseason, but how much do you take pride in accomplishing you know one of the goals that you set out to accomplish this year yeah I mean it's huge that's what we wanted uh just to play really good basketball consistent basketball all summer and um you know I think sometimes you just kind of have to appreciate what you did even though sometimes like in the moment you're like okay I wish we could play better like I wish we could win by more points but I mean what we did was pretty special and we know it's obviously a separate season but um it's something we can appreciate for sure Last year, when you guys were talking about the separate seasons, um, there was that separation of, okay, you finished 500, so now you do have to really look at this as a complete, like, different mm -hmm. season. This year, how much do you carry your success into the postseason while still maintaining that yeah. mentality? Yeah, it's a balance for sure. We know that we can carry a lot more um, into this postseason than, let's say, last year. You know, you don't want to. Uh, you know, we haven't, we had a really good year. So there's plenty of things that we can take with us, you know, all the things we did well. Um, but we know it's just a whole nother level of just like energy and competitiveness. And it's just that you don't want to go home mentality. So we know it's going to be there and we're going to bring it just and, as well. Sorry. Okay. And then um, James talked about it, but it took you guys 35 games to lose back to back mm -hmm. this season. And that's something I imagine is, is, beneficial in, in play in the playoffs especially in series play yeah so um yeah what contributed to that and what about that are you specifically going to carry into the playoffs yeah I think it's just uh adjusting you know if you have a, a game you lose it's just coming with extra urgency the next game and adjusting so now it's the playoffs obviously so we'll be playing the same team for that second game so I think we did really well last year in the playoffs too with that where you know, if we lost the game, it was like right away we were bouncing back and adjusting to whatever went wrong in that game. So um, we know it's got to be the same and we're just going to go game by game. All right, no James Kay and then Mike, we'll go to James first. Hey, Allie, how you doing? Good. How are you? Doing well, thanks. Um, how important was it to just gain a little bit of momentum heading into the playoffs after? I mean, you had a little bit of a tough three-game stretch, but today, I mean, you went ballistic from beyond the arc and it really felt like this team was really cohesive. I mean, did you think it was important to get a little bit of that momentum heading into Wednesday? Yeah, of course. We didn't want to come and lay an egg and have any kind of bad feeling going into the playoffs. So um, we knew it was going to be important just to leave here feeling good and um, give us a little bit of a boost going to the playoffs. Um, and I, I was curious, how is Courtney doing? I, I know she left the bench for a second. Um, it was hard to see on the broadcast, but then she came back and looked like she was talking with you. I mean, did she tell you about how she's doing after? Uh, yeah, she said she's fine. She said it was just a hard screen and it wasn't like serious. So she's good. All right, sounds good. Thank you. No problem. Mike Hughes, last question. Hey, Ali, congrats on the 2022 season. I, it was definitely a season to remember and a season to be in the books. But, you know, everyone's talking about this being a two season type of year. And, you know, going into the postseason, it's a totally different mentality. And as kind of brought up with Azrae a little while ago, 
you, we don't know what the future holds when it comes to free agency and when it comes to everybody else's decisions. So for you personally, what does this second half or this second season mean for you to kind of just finish off what you guys wanted to start and what you wanted to do in the 2022 season? Yeah, I mean, of course, our goal is to win a championship. And um, that's our main goal is just to play our best basketball, tighten everything up offensively, defensively, and um, just bring that playoff energy, that championship energy. We're just just really excited to get to that game Wednesday. And then speaking of the game Wednesday, when you look at someone like Sabrina, who has done so many amazing things in her short time in the league so far, what goes into preparing for her in a scouting report? Because it seems like, you know, no matter what anybody does, there's nothing we can really do to stop her. Yeah, I mean, I think you just have to be super focused, uh, disciplined, whatever the scheme is, you got to do it 100%. Um, obviously, she's a really great player, can affect the game in, you know, many ways offensively. So um, we'll have a plan and we'll be ready Wednesday. Congrats, Allie. Have a great uh, championship run. Thank you so much. Thanks, Allie. Thanks, guys.